Welcome back to yet another episode of uh, The Hard West. We are following Warren in his step of the ultimate revenge. And this is a bloody, um, a very bloody and brutal um, scenario. We are about to invade the demon's hideout. Our job is really to kill 100 people overall. And this here is probably going to serve that cause quite well. Uh, let's unleash hell and directly get into it. Interestingly enough, we do have a bone, uh, a spine fracture, which means Warren is just becoming stronger over time. And since he's the only essential character, the other twos quite, quite literally do not count. Uh, which I like about the scenario, you have um, only one character to focus on. And with his demonic abilities, he's even pretty, pretty strong. And his troop were residing. Okay. No setup whatsoever. We're directly jumping into it. I love it. So this here is a great option to try out our new Cannon Caldera on Brandon Scott. Nice little 60%. We're deciding to take some auto shots. Okay, so seven points of damage. Let's see. We can take a lead shot, which would probably damage the guy in half cover. And then we most likely can kill this gangster. Let's try this. So we increased Warren's aptitude to deal damage with uh, the new trinket. Let's just try to deal a bit more damage and let's kill them one by one I don't want to go for half cover So instead what I'd like to do is we're going to move all the way over here to take a flanking position. So Old Man Murray will be our um, guy on flanking duty. If there's one thing that you need to know about this game is as long as you're in full cover and you cannot be flanked, life is beautiful. Uh, the moment that you're going to be flanked, uh, the Hard West is an extremely deadly game. So you want to prevent that from happening at all costs. For instance, look at this. Long shot. But still, I mean, she was standing in, open, uh, in an open position and got severely punished. Again here. Um, oh no, she's actually in cover. They decided this time to, to stay in cover, but that's fine. I don't want to move up. Uh, so far I'm I'm not feeling 100% secure about moving up. There we go. Caught another one red-handed. This here might as well be a... Uh, I, I thought that might be a vision line, like through these two windows, but it barely isn't. Let's reload. And see whom else we can catch. Was that a cow that, who, uh, which just moved? So we're taking half cover, but only because she's exposed. Same positions for the two. Let's 
We're going to reload. I'll take this extra round. And we're getting out of line of sight. Just to make sure that we're not taking any damage. Any unnecessary damage. We're going to flank again. Seven points of damage. Can't deal that in one shot. But we can deplete their luck. Still not sure if we're not uh, going to find someone over here, so I'm being a bit more careful just to make sure we're not running into something. Softening up uh, the luck of this person and we're calling it a day. Well, that's a serious threat. Need to be careful with this guy. Gives us a good chance to fall back just a little bit. Reload the weapons and try to find a different angle. There we go, one more down. And we're going to reload. So the guy with 13 hit points it's definitely causing some issue. Uh, I think even if we fully unload on onto him, he's not going to die, at least not right away. Wow, that's a straight shot. Look at that. So much distance. <laughs> would have been nice if we would have uh, hit this one. So I'm going to retreat here because we're at 30 luck. It's most likely that he's going to hit us at least once. He decides to stand in the open. Which is a pretty ballsy move, I must say. We know of one, two enemies still standing here. Moving in, so we can move to this position next turn. Reloading. Oh, we're at exactly zero luck. That's interesting. Yeah, exactly zero luck. So the next shot is going to hit regardless. He has way too much uh, luck at the moment, so we're just going to drain his luck. Next turn, I'm going. I'm, I'm trying to flank him. And our maneuver almost worked. She's still hiding behind uh, the cart. So it's time to slowly but surely wiggle her down then, uh, that way. We're at 50 luck, uh, 59 luck, which means we can take another shot. That's fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, we could be ballsy and move up. There is some advantage to it. The disadvantage is we could be flanked from over here. And we haven't had any tracking. We know that last round there was one gal moving out here. She could have gone to here and now moves up here. If, if she's fast, she might even make it up to here, which would be unfortunate. So we can't just randomly move out. Like I said, the most important thing is keep track of your enemies and make sure that you use um, your luck way better. As long as you're on full cover, you should be fine. So we're draining his luck again. Next turn he should be taking a lethal shot. We need to hit only one shot, and that should be okay. That was now dead. His soul headed to who knows where. Moving over, I'm trying to dance from left to right here just to keep the whole flank. Alright, time for a reload. A full reload, that is. Yeah, we're in full cover. Everything's fine for now. All right, let's move on. Warren changes his flank. Yeah, we caught you red-handed. I knew it. I'm more confident moving up now. Because Warren has that side here under his under his uh, control. She's getting flanked. Let's try, at least for now, to stay in full cover. He only has zero, he has zero luck at the moment, so... an unnecessary flanking could mean that he's going to die, which means I'm actually going to pull him back, just in case. So we know there's one more enemy right there. Moving into half cover. before moving into full cover. Perfect. We know where the missing woman went. This here would be too aggressive. I think that that's just too bold. Draining her luck, slowly but surely. I mean, she needs to do something else, otherwise she's just going to be drained. Good. We know three more enemies are remaining. That's a desperation attempt. They're trying to rush us down. Yeah. 
That did not go so well. We know the last enemy is over there, so time to move in. She again decides to just stand in the open. That was one of the easiest uh, shootouts that we had so far. It might be that I'm uh, tr uh, starting to understand the AI better, but they are behaving quite bad. Look at that, we got a couple of wounds that um, that now transferred into real, into real benefits. Let me show you, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, I know that I've probably explained it a couple of times. We had a spinal injury, and since we fought two belts with it, uh, the your stiff back hampers movement but provides stability when shooting. We get plus 10 aim and plus one maximum hit points at the cost of only one movement. So this is because we fought two times um, together uh, with this uh, disadvantage and now we're actually fine. The only d downside of uh, Warren so far is his low movement. The rest is phenomenal. And I think we had uh, Old Man Murray here who had an injury. Yeah. Matter of fact, he had a couple of injuries apparently. That's why he was down at three hit points. But look at that. He's becoming a strong contender for, uh, for hardest mofo in the Wild West. Uh, he had his or uh, organs removed, plus one hit point per turn. Uh, he has a gorged eye, plus four sight, plus one damage, plus ma one maximum hit point. He's up to 11 hit points now. Uh, plus 10 defense and plus one maximum hit points. Oh my god. This guy is on fire. Hell yeah. And we got a couple of new cards. For instance, exchange health with the target, which for high health characters is wonderful. Track wounded enemies, every shot cripples your uh, target, and a joker. Okay, I would say it's time to deal a new hand for everyone. So I like the set bonuses. They are just very, very good. Uh, two of a kind, three of a kind, full house, all of these uh, bony are usually really, really good. And when I'm thinking about our main character, then it should be him. Like, he should be the one um, being, being the badass. So I think we're going to give him the extra hit points, upgrading him to 11, giving him the extra luck. Passive uh, shots just drain enemies, um, enemies' luck all the time. Score crippling hits and give him even another bonus. So he's now up to the um, to the full house, which I know uh, grants movement. That was his only uh, problem, and he's now at 150 luck. So matter of fact, he's just a walking powerhouse. He has his built-in regeneration, so we don't need the uh, other form of regeneration. He furthermore can exchange uh, targets um, uh, hit points with the target. So if he's really hurt, we could just yeah gain massive hit points that way he will be a powerhouse very hard to kill this character which coincidentally is exactly what we needed we have no sniping almost no sniping the tens are usually the sniping skills i wish we uh, could build up a sniper but it is what it is so maybe i would say here's the deal we can give someone a pair yeah, we currently can give someone the advantage of a pair. Oh, here's another pair, two jacks. Okay, so we do have defense and regeneration plus uh, the jack of spades. I think just from uh, from his sturdiness, we might want to give old man Murray uh, that movement bonus plus defense bonus. Uh, he's now at 19 defense. And he can get bony whenever he sees a lot of targets, plus can regenerate. So he's just overall pretty, pretty powerful. The whole shrieking fits wonderful into him standing in the middle of 100 enemies. And 
we give him uh, the sensing uh, sensing bonuses so he's kind of our scout a little bit less hit points movement is okay yeah i would rather make him a sniper but it is what it is guys definitely the better idea to keep murray he only had three hit points but boy oh boy has he become a valuable resource and we have 230 um, 230 gold allows two shots per turn it's a perfect allows two shots per turn is a perfect uh, weapon for someone who wants to take multiple shots per turn There we go, and whilst we're at it, take the extra healing elixir. I think that should be it. Now clearly we need a new weapon. Because every, every time you finish the mission, this trader here restocks and the cannon uh, Calvera is just the best weapon uh, that I've seen by a pretty long shot. I like the idea of this extra movement, uh, maximum hit point, slow, slight maximum hit point reduction, extra movement, uh, but extra damage as well. That's also very, very strong. So let's adjust the offer, trade it, and I think we just uh, got our old uh, man Murray well equipped. He's down to 9 hit points, which is still more than enough. We're giving him the cannon Calvera. Uh, he has a weapon for an additional shot if he uh, desires to have one. All of our characters now have the Cannon Calvera as their standard weapon. Um, and I'm even thinking... I'm even thinking about... Actually trading the extra damage for these boots uh, in the next fight because additional movement would help our character as well it's okay for now but i really like this additional movement speed rumors head in the whole town has died of a plague in a single week uh, with uh, the sickness in the air and the bodies on the ground no one dared to loot the place we are looting that town you found some loot, but there was something in the air. Your breath became heavier. Suddenly an old hack approached, scrawling like a preacher. She said the, the city was a grave, but not all, this, not all citizens were buried in it. Seven men were buried in the forest, uh, forest. Six decent folk and one thief buried with his loot. She said you can uh, duck up the thief's grave. You'd be too rich beyond measure. Touch the wrong grave, though, you'd be cursed. Bad luck would haunt you. Sickness would crush your bodies and spines and would follow you forever. She vanished, leaving you alone with a memorial marker. Only a part of the uh, memorial was uh, legible. All you know, uh, all you could uh, make out was Stephen uh, Teague, a hardworking farmer, Ronnie Dead, a fair uh, judge, Tony Sullivan, a magnificent cock. Donovan Briars, a brave miner, and Sam Courtney, the finest blacksmith. Well, no, he was a fine blacksmith. We're not going to do that. His grave was as poor as it could be, uh, though it uh, is though the meadow flowers around it meant he'd been loved. Okay. This was a burial site, but not what you would call a proper grave. We dig it up. 
Romit Head, the judge. Okay, that's clearly not the grave. Donovan Brythe. No, he was uh, he was the miner and he was nice. A grave born just simply across did not appear to be well tended. We dig it up. Well, I wouldn't call 200 gold uh, rich beyond imagination. And also, we might want to visit a healer here. Because we got some nasty little diseases. Gosh, was there no healer in this map? I'm pretty sure there was one healer. You stepped a thug in the back. Uh, you stepped a thug in the back as the lady screamed and the men rose to their feet. You dragged him outside by his color. After a little more persuasion, he spilled the beans on the masked men's locations and operations. The thug, a thug gave you uh, directions to the masked men's homestead and cattle pasture. He said the masked men also owed uh, an excavation site and an old, so old sawmill. Um, but it was in the dark about uh, the uh, location of the, uh, of the masked man itself. Begging to spare his life, he told you uh, the gold transport will be waiting for picking up at the bank of Esperin. He warned you that the masked man had a deal with some demons to protect it. When he was finished, uh, you promised you wouldn't kill him, then you slit his throat. Very nice. Very nice. There we go. Warren needs healing, and I think we just got cleansed. And whilst we're here, I would like to buy all of the Mandrake root, because that is pretty good stuff. We're taking a couple of um, dry healing herbs with us as well. Oh, wait a second. We're getting cash. Thank you. There we go. So, we got rid of all of the illnesses and we actually finally found something useful as a consumable item. The mandrake roots will go a long way uh, because they offer a nice little luck bonus. I like refilling the luck. And there we go, there's our first um, sniper ability, which finally means we can give him two pairs. And this here even means we can give him a full house. Well, there you go. Got eight hit points, nine hit points here, and 11 hit points here. That's well, not too bad. I mean, we only uh, we have the golden, uh, golden bullet, which is the best shot that we could um, ask for. It's really, really good. So we should be giving him a sniper. Let's closely assess what we are going to do. So, um, he would be down to 55 uh, aim. Well, I mean, I guess he's going to snipe with the cannon Caldera then. Uh, then. 
because his aim is just really important. Yeah. Fair enough. He's still going to deal 6 damage, so... That's going to be alright. Okay, perfect. I think we have done all of this here. Pastures. Uh, cowboys uh, tend uh, to herd across the fertile lands. The animals were just owned by the masked men and one of his associates. The farm hands were just cheap labor, but uh, their lives would still count towards your tally. Oh yeah, there we go. You decide to kill the horses and hang the cowboys. You round up the cowboys and tied them down. Then you killed the horses and hang the farm hands on the nearby trees. When you were finished, the landscape was peaceful again. Just bath and blood. The masked man would hear about what you have done. As the bounty of your head increases, people in the area wanted less and less to do with you. The shop owner raised prices by 10%, hoping you'd take business elsewhere. Finally, you knew where the masked man's location was. His oil field. Dude, we're not going there yet. You heard where the masked man was hiding. Clearly, it was a trap. Yeah, of course it was a trap, but we want to get the optional uh, shit done. I definitely want to get the full revenge, not the half revenge. We're going to go and... I think that's robbing the bank. Yes, you robbed the bank. There you go, guys. So that's going to happen in the next episode. And uh, I hope you like what you've seen so far. If so, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. We're almost at 26,000 reward. Uh, we only need to kill 100 people and we're at 60 already. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.